What's going on everyone? Ninja here from NTP back again with another Naruto statue. Today we have Kakashi. Kakashi finishing up Team Kakashi or Team 7, the leader here. Now we have all four. Let's go ahead and take a nice step back here and get a good look at him. Look at that. Look how great that is. Oh man. Freaking sweet, man. We got the first four done. Really, you can just stop here if you want, because really, a lot of the other characters are... I mean, you could consider them as, like, side characters and not as important. Really, it's just these main three that are really important, but, ah, well. You make the others. I, you know, make all of them. Make all, all of them are just as important, but uh, I'll, throw up, go, I'll throw up another little picture here, as I've done for the other three. Um, so this is Kakashi. He's... I don't want to speak for everyone, but I would say that he's a lot of people's favorite character, um, he's made out to be a badass as, like, the show progresses. He teaches Sasuke a lot of stuff, like, um, his signature move that he calls the Lightning Blade, that, um, Sasuke ends up calling Chidori, or, or, no, nah, I think he also calls it Lightning Blade. I don't fuck, I don't, I don't remember, I almost, I, I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember exactly all the details. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. Got a Sharingan eye with a nice little scar on it. I just I opted to not do the headband in front of the eye just because I think it's better to show off the Sharingan eye instead of hide it behind the headband. So that was the version I went ahead and went with. Also, a very similar skin to a pretty infamous YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber known as Etho. So if you have an Etho statue in your world, which you might, um, then now you know that that is actually Kakashi from Naruto. So, fun little fact. Um, and I guess, I guess you could go as far as just say, oh, well, I already have Kakashi in my world because I have Etho. Well, you know what? It's not the same. It's not, it's not the same at all. It's not, man. So, shame. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm done being stupid. Let's go ahead and just get into the dimensions and everything here. Just kind of finish this all up here. So, legs here are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso is 8x4x12, by by and the arms are attached or aligned to the torso, and they're 4x4x12, by by and the head here is 8x8x8 by by with a hat effect. Um, his hair, so I wasn't sure I'd do his hair, right? Because if you, if you saw the picture that I threw up, his hair, it kind of like, it's, oh, it's so weird. It's, it's, it's really unique-ish, because it flips up to one side, and I wasn't really sure how to do that. Right? And make it look good. Um, so I went in and just stuck with this. And um, I just stuck with this pattern here. And like, I don't know. I, I, I just raised it one, moved it over two, and brought it off the edge of his head one. And that ended up looking okay. You know, like, you can tell what I was trying to do here. It's really small. There's not a lot going on with it. And... It's kind of a legal-ish skin, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like a legal thing to do with the skin. So you could actually take this skin and really put it in a skin thing for, and just have this on Minecraft and it'd be totally normal. So, yeah, totally legal, <laughs> totally legal thing to do. But, like, I decided not to go crazy with it because I tried it first and it just didn't look right. It looked like it was uh, going out of the realm of, like, statues and getting more into, like, just crazy stuff. So I ended up just leaving it like this, um, but then also on the very back of him, he's got a little, uh, he's got his headband that's being tied here, as uh, you know Sasuke and Naruto they do. So there's that. I decided also not to bring this out one just because he already had a lot going on with him. I didn't want to make it even more complex, so I just left it like that. Anyway, that's for that. Um, and those dimensions are linked by width by height. Uh, also at the very end, I'll have pictures in the plastic texture pack. So. If there's a part that I go by too fast, or if I just go through this too fast, which I probably will because I have a lot to do, <laughs> tends to happen when I pre-record a lot of stuff in advance, um, then those are there for you for reference and all that good jazz. So, here we go. So, as for the front of the legs, he has black pants and black shoes. A lot of black on this guy, by the way. A lot of black. So, black pants, black shoes. Um, he's got, like, bandages around the uh, very edges of his legs, like, or wraps or something. That is white and light gray. What is that noise? Is that my cat? I think that's my cat. Stop, cat. Shame. Um, then we have a wrap. Oh, my God. Cat, stop. I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear it, which, and this mic is pretty good mic, so I'm assuming it's picking up on it as well. Anyway, we're just going to ignore it and keep going. Um, so the middle of the wrap, 
uh, or the wrap on the middle of his leg, that's just white and black, and it wraps around here as does really all the black that's on him, his legs, his, uh, his pants, his shoes, and everything. All just wraps around here. Um, there's like a checkered pattern with the wraps on the very uh, bottom of his legs. Um, so that's interesting. And then you can see the kunai pouch on this side just kind of uh, covers the entire, it just kind of breaks the white, goes on with this. So there's that. The rest of it just kind of wraps around here with the black and everything. The wraps around his legs are still doing the black or the uh, white and light gray pattern. Um, the wrap on his mid leg, that's just the white and black. The rest of it's just it's really, really just three colors here. I hit my leg. <laughs> if you're wondering what that was, um, it's really just three colors though. Just white, light gray, black. Really, really simple. And then a really similar thing here. It's just mirrored across, really. Um, all black except the uh, little checkered pattern down there from the wraps around his uh, ankles. So there's that. Um, and now moving on to the torso, where we have a little bit more color than just three. So we have the white and light gray again for the zipper. In the very middle of uh, his jacket here, or his vest, um, he's got some fingerless gloves on. Those are black. He's got some skin showing there. That is birch wooden planks. Um, his vest is light, or not light, uh, lime, I would say light green, lime stained clay and green stained clay. And then his shirt that he's wearing, um, and, you know, as well as the pants and the gloves and everything, that's all just black. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. So, yep, zipper, everything, white and light gray, and yep, everything else. Good, good. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the side of his arms now. So you might think everything would just wrap around. It does not. Uh, in fact, he's got a little uh, red patch there on the uh, very upper shoulder of his arm, and then on the very edge of his gloves, he's got like a little bit of like, I don't want to call it like armor or anything, but it's just like, it's like a little steel thing on his arm, and that I just went ahead and made out of stone. Otherwise, the rest of it just all wraps around, like the, uh, the sleeve, everything that wraps around, and the uh, birch wooden planks, all that wraps around here. And then to the back, it's really just the same thing as the front, which I can go ahead and show off here. It's the same thing. Just mirror this to the back with the black and the birch wooden planks. All this just mirrors right to the very back here. So you can just make both arms really that way because they're exactly the same. So there's that. Oh, and I'm getting like lost in hair here. Stop it. Bad. Okay, let's do this angle. This angle is all right. Okay. So he's got a little pouch on the very back of him, which is uh, brown with some spruce wooden planks for a little bit of detailing in there. Uh, the jacket is still the normal lime stained clay with a little bit of like lines and detailing there with the green stained clay And he's got a symbol on the very back of him, which is the hidden leaf symbol and that is red So not too not too bad and then this arm is the exact same as the other arm just mirrored right across As you can see it's the exact same thing with the red and the stone on the glove and on the side of his arm So let's go ahead and do that and you'll be done with the arms uh, moving on to the head. The head's where everything gets a little, little crazy, especially with the hair. I went a little, like, I had a lot of inspiration for making Kakashi off of Etho, and Etho has this design in his hair that's very similar to this, where it's like gray and white and stone are kind of speckled about in the light gray of the hair. So I would, <laughs> I took a lot of inspiration from that and just went with it. So, yep, here's this. Anyway. Um, he's got like a little mask on, of course. He's got the um, the black for his mask, and the skin showing is um, birch wind planks. His one eye is red, one eye is black stained, or not black stained clay, uh, blo uh, blocks of coal. I couldn't say it for some reason. Um, and there have both of his eyes are white. He's got a scar on the Sharingan eye, which is the red eye, and that is oak wooden planks. The symbol on the uh, top of his head uh, for the headband thing. That is uh, the you know the hidden leaf symbol thing that we came up with, and that is stone and gray with uh, light gray. And the hair, as I mentioned, is just all kinds of crazy. It is light gray. It's mostly light gray. Like the base of it is light gray, but speckled about is white stone and gray detailing. So here's the front. Um, we're gonna go to this side next. You see, it's a little crazy, little crazy, little crazy with the detailing. Headband just wraps around his head. That's what the black is. You have um, the little bit of um, his vest thing that I ended up throwing up here, and there's like the lime stained clay and the green stained clay for the uh, outlining on that. 
skin showing birchwood planks, and of course the white, light gray, gray, and stone for all the detailing that's kind of like all crazy inside his head. So because we're so close to this person's head, I'm gonna do the lower half, right? And then we're gonna do the upper half. So here's the lower half. Lower half has got the lime stained clay, green stained clay, all this stuff, just kind of all scattered about. Um, you know, the standard colors as we've had with the detailing on the hair, light gray, stone, white, gray, it's all speckled in there. And then you have the hat effect here, we're going to do the upper half now. The hat effect here on the um, the headband uh, comes out one and is black, of course. And then the upper half of the hair, which I'll, I'll raise a little bit more here. Um, white, light gray, stone gray, same things as we've been using. But this is just the pattern that we've used here for this. Um, and on this side, as you can see, it's got a little bit of, uh, it looks a little weird, not going to lie. A little weird from uh, this point of view. Um, yeah anyway so similar colors not not uh it, the, the oh man i can't even talk right now the um this is not mirrored from the other side this is all very very different so the the hair the detailing all very very different similar similar look but very different detailing so you still have the lime stained clay and the green stained clay and the skin showing and the black from the headband but the detailing in the hair of course gets a little little bit different hit my table i'm sorry um which is light gray, stone, gray, and white. So that is that. And then we're just gonna sh I'm just gonna show you the very top of the head here. Very similar detailing again. Well, well, similar colors, the same colors that we've been using, but just a crazy, crazy detail. I guess if you don't want to go this far in detail like this, you don't have to. I personally like it because I didn't really go this crazy with anyone else. Um, and, and again, as I, as I mentioned, I did draw a lot of inspiration from Etho Labs uh, skin because um, I wasn't really sure how to do the hair, but his hair was kind of detailed this way. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my own thing and kind of detail it in like a similar way, but do like something a little bit uh, maybe crazier or whatever. And it, it ended up looking like this and I liked it. So, but we have the light gray, white, stone and gray just all scattered in there. So up to you what you want to do with that. I think it turned out looking pretty good. But that's just me. Anyway, after you've done that, chosen if you want to if you want to do everything either all light gray or add in the detail. Either way, after you finish that, you are done with Kakashi. So that is the end for uh, Team Kakashi here. Like I said, we're nearing the halfway point of this, and then we'll be moving on to something else after uh, we get done with the first 10 of these guys. Um, also, I hope you're enjoying my new mic. Um, I know I've mentioned this past couple episodes, but I, I wanna know if uh, it's you know turning out okay. I definitely got a lot of feedback from the first video, so appreciate it. Um, anyway, that's it for that though. But if you guys have any comments, go and leave them in the comments about requests or anything you want us to do. Uh, definitely, definitely leave us some anime uh, requests because we have a lot of stuff coming out anime wise and it'd be cool to know like what you guys are interested in seeing so that we could maybe push that out a little bit ahead of everything else um, options that I put on the board before are One Piece and Fairy Tale and stuff like that so um, those are just like the ones that we've made a lot of already oh and Attack on Titan of course Attack on Titan's another bigger one so those are always options for you guys to choose from. And if there, maybe you want something different, go ahead and you know pick something different. I don't really mind. So anyway, though, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will see you for the next one.